Welcome to Bruce in Colorado sticker pack rips of Panini FIFA World Cup Cutter 2022. We've already partially filled the album with direct order yellow border USA stickers, and today we're going to try to fill as many of the open spaces with the gorgeous all orange international stickers that came all the way from the Netherlands. I have done videos for the first box of 250 and I've done a video for four boxes of 50 stickers and gotten about half of the stickers completed. So that means I have about 300 left to get in order to fill it up. So fan sentiment was overwhelming that I should continue on and keep filling this and see if I can get it close to completed. And you can see that some of these pages are pretty darn full, like the home team, the host team, our cutter, who this page is almost complete, whereas we have some like Poland that are less than half complete. So what we're trying to do is order, we ordered this package, which is another box of 250 stickers, and it is supposedly the European version. So the US version, actually it's international. The US version is the, uh, the, the special order directly from Panini, which is what I did for this first box, for that first box, was um, yellow border, gold border. Um, then I also bought retail at, I believe it was Walmart or Target, uh, the retail products, which are white border for the USA. So what I'm hoping for is either the uh, the international version that is either blue or uh, all orange. So no borders, but either all blue or all orange. I've seen ads, uh, images for both. So what I ordered was the European or international version, which uh, that's why I'm opening up box and box just to see did I get what I ordered and am I going to have a multicolored selection of stickers? It looks good so far. Here we go. I'm going to take these out. Oh, this looks like it. It is the Netherlands version. Now that is super cool. They did not say that in the description. All right, so far so good. First thing, I'm going to rip this open and see did we really get the international version. Drum roll, please. Oh, this is great. <gasps> I did, yay. This is exactly what I ordered. The international version, yay. All right, orange. So we're going to end up changing things up a little bit. We're going to end up filling it with orange. Um, and of course I say filling it with filling it with a tongue in cheek because it is not going to fill this up. I'm figuring that I have about 300 stickers left to fill in here and Uh, of these, I may get about 40% that are new. Uh, one thing I'm sure of is that it's not, <laughs> so far, it's not looking good because I've already gotten two of these Serbia uh, shields, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is open these all up, open up all these packs, uh, speed it up so you don't have to watch all that, and then we will review who the players are, what the stickers are, See what kind of special ones we get. I also determined that we get more of the special gold shinies with the, at least in the limited number of boxes I've opened up, the special boxes that you special order uh, have a little bit more of the special stickers than the retail product, which kind of makes sense. So we'll see if we can fill in some more of those because it didn't do too well with filling uh, the packs last time uh, with the retail five pack boxes we didn't do too well with getting the shinies 
and what we did. Uh, most of them were repeats like Serbia. Okay, so we're gonna go fast and join you on the other side when they're all ripped and check out the different players and stickers we got. Okay, last pack to tear up and seems kind of a shame. It's a little bit different. Uh, silver, silver border for USA and uh, gold for international. Um, here's the back. All right, let's take a look at what we've gotten so far. Just, I pulled some of these out. Here, there's another one here. Some of those were pretty hot packs, and we'll run into some more shinies, but what we got. What I haven't done is looked at the back. These are pink rather than uh, printed in black and white. Like the USA version, and these are the codes that you can enter for the online gaming, and uh, they only come on the back of the team pictures or the FWC pictures, stickers. So what do we get? Italy, Brazil, Italy, 1982, Brazil, 1958, Brazil, 1970. This is Netherland, Uruguay from 1930. Spain's shield, France, 2018. As I said, I have that, I believe. We'll find out. Australia. That's the team picture, the logo picture for Australia. Logo picture for Canada. <clears throat> logo picture for USA. Cameroons, logo picture. Uh, Italy, 1982. And once again, another Serbia. I think it's... Uh, a hint that I'm supposed to root for Serbia. All right, let's take a look at the uh, players. We'll go through these pretty fast because I don't think anybody really likes to uh, labor over these. Jose Maria Jimenez for Uruguay. Akram Hassan Afif for Qatar. Francisco Calvo for Costa Rica. <clears throat> Shiny Shield for Argentina. And... And free to use these codes if you want. Argentina's Rodrigo de Paul. Georgian de Arachita from Uruguay. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I know I'm butchering a lot of names and I apologize. Salyu Sis, Senegal. Harry Maguire, England. Jason Denayer, Belgium. Dominic Livat. Kovic, Croatia, Steven Zubers for Switzerland, Martin Boyle for Australia. This is the top of the um, symbol logo Rafinha for Brazil, Davis Ipasse for Cameroon, Tunisia's Baker Ben Sayad. I really hope that we fill up uh, the pages that are pretty empty because it's an international version and maybe the sorting uh, or they have more of certain stickers, certain players in the USA packages versus the international packages. We'll see. Jack Graylish for England. Yuta Nakayama. Japan. Canada's Danielle Henry. Aderson for Brazil. Munir from Morocco. Matty Cash, making sure these aren't sticking, which they are. Leroy Sané for Germany. Tayan Buchanan for Canada. I was about to say it with some uh, affectation of a different language. Hayan Wu Jo for Korea. Alias Scary for Tunisia. Justin Bilo for ne Netherlands. 
Sergino Dest, USA. Bernardo Silva for Portugal. Jinsu Kim for Korea. Lucas Torreira, Uruguay. No, I pronounced that wrong. Cesar Azpilicueta, Spain. Sardar Azmulan, Iran. Johan Venegas, Costa Rica. Mubarak Wakaso, Ghana. Now they had a lot of Ghana. Albite Stadium, I have got an Albite Stadium in each of my packs and even a duplicate in the first big box. But this is obviously the first that I've gotten for um, the International Orange version. Brennan Johnson for Wales. Yusuf Abdurisag for Qatar. Takuma Asano for Japan. Portugal's Ruben Neves. Neves. Piero Hincapié, Ecuador. Herman Pezella for Argentina. Senegal's Alfred Comis. Leon Goretzka for Germany. Rafael Varane for France. Martin Braithwaite, Denmark. Nemanja Radonjic for Serbia. Australia's Aaron Mui. Mateusz Klisch for Poland. Arno Danjuma or Danjuma, Netherlands. Maddie Cash for Poland. Angelo Preciado for Ecuador. Jude Bellingham for England. Neymar Jr. Brazil. Jackson Mendez, Ecuador. Ryan Mai for Morocco. Yuri Tielman, Belgium. Robert Arboleda for Ecuador. Declan Rice, of course, from England. It's actually a very Irish name. My name is Declan! Goncalo Guedes, Portugal. Friani Sassi, Tunisia. Spain's Gabi. Samuel Adekugbe for Canada. Kasper Schmeichel for Denmark. Naim Sleety, Tunisia. Javani Reina, USA. Bulaye Dia, Marco Rus for Germany. Facundo Palistri for Uruguay. Americ Laporte, Spain. Predrag Rajkovic, Reykjavik. Serbia, Zach Stefan, USA, Taimo Tuj Pukas, that is the worst I've done with any name for Poland. Thomas Partey, Ghana, Sung Ho Paik, Paik, um, for Korea, Ben Davies for Wales, Karim and Sarifard for Iran, Jordan Ayu, Ghana, Nicola Conte, France, Pepe, Portugal. Emiliano Martinez, Argentina. Wales, Daniel James. Fred, Brazil. Memphis Depay, Netherlands. Daniel Amarte, Ghana. Firas Alberican for KSA, Saudi Arabia. Nicholas Otamendi. Argentina. Adrien Rabio for France. Phil Foden for England. Let's move this out of the way. Don't need to put Rodrigo de Paul off to the side. You know he's got a cool name. Five minutes later. Kylian Mbappe, France. Karim Boudiaf, Qatar. Sergei Milanovic Savic, Serbia. Hans Vanneken, Belgium. Okay, or Coke, Spain. KSA, Saudi Arabia, Selim Al Dalsari. Dushan Vlahovic, Serbia. Morocco, Selim Amala. Marquinho, Brazil. Leandro Paradis, Argentina. Ricardo Rodriguez, Switzerland. Stefan de Vrie, Netherlands. I don't know, struggling with that name. Before, so I think I already have that. Senegal's Famara Diadouhu. Denmark's Joaquim Male. 
Josko Gvardial in Croatia told about how I watched Croatia and France battle it off in the finals in 2018 from a cruise ship. I was taking a taking a cruise coincidentally to Croatia. Qatar, Michal Barsham. So Croatia is kind of my adopted World Cup team. Bilel Ifa, Tunisia. Nemanja Gudel, Serbia. Chris Gunter, Wales. Harold Mukidi, Mukudi, Cameroon. Thomas Delaney, Denmark. Cheng Ku Khan, Korea. I'm trying to go through these as fast as I can. Wu Byung Jung, Korea. Nasej Rebus, Poland. Strahinia Pavlovic, Serbia. Argentina's Julian Alvarez. Adam Taggart, Australia. Rihan Grant, Australia. Ghana's Isa Haku Abdul Fatawu. It's easy for you to say. Al Janoub Stadium. Michael Gadu, Cameroon. Sergio Busquet, Busquets, Spain. Wotek Szczesny, Poland. France, 1998. Alexander Diku, Ghana. Weston McKinney, USA. Mike Manyan, France. Fernando Muslera, Uruguay. Lucas Paqueta, Brazil. Hirving Lozano, Mexico. First one we've had all day. Abdulaziz Hatim, Qatar. Uh, Benjamin Bavard, France. Nayef Aguerd. Morocco, France's Aurelien Chumani. Chumani. Mini. I'll get it right. Jordan Guido Rodriguez for Argentina. Piotr Zelensky, Poland. Andrea Zivkovic, Serbia. Axel Witzel, Belgium. Crepin Diata, Senegal. Feel free to leave me the correct pronunciation. Rafael Guerrero. Here is the bottom of this. Is this the same one? No, it's different. Different sticker. Same page. We'll see. Sofian Amrabat. Vahid Amiri. Josip Juranovic, Asim Omer Madibo, Qatar, Gregor Kobel, Switzerland, Lartaro Martinez, Argentina, El Janoub Stadium, is that a duplicate? Kalor Navas, Almoez Ali, Nestor Arayo, Mexico, Aiden Hrustic, Austria. Federico Valverde, Uruguay. Aaron Ramsdale, or really, Aaron Ramsdale, England. Briel Mbolo, Switzerland. Uh, probably Virgil van Dijk, Virgil van Dijk, Netherlands. Ali Maulul, Tunisia, I know, I butchered that. France. France number one, Team Scudetto, Shield. Joel King, Hamza Matluthi, Tunisia. Stefan Bahokin, Cameroon. Milos Velkovic, Serbia. Andy Yadam, Ghana. Lukasz Skorupski, Poland. Chulhong, Korea. Juan Pablo Vargas, Costa Rica, Shield 4. These are all new. Croatia, nice. This is a nice Croatia. Very sharp. 
Deandre Gedland, USA. Sergio Roche, Uruguay. Mohamed Al Owais, Saudi Arabia. Nikola Vlasic, Croatia. Al Thumana Stadium. No, I don't have that one. So I remembered saying that. Croatia, Marco Livaha. And Raheem Sterling from England. Move this pile out of the way. We're two thirds done. Give or take. Jinki Haraguchi, Japan. Gideon Minsa, Ghana. Gui Sung Cho, Korea. And also for Korea, Jae Sung Lee. Borna Sosa, Croatia. Jeremy Sarmiento for Ecuador. And Margandre Terstegen, Germany. Sten, Tersten. Gonzalo Plata. Like I said, please leave a comment and correct this pronunciation. Um, because I'm always interested in getting it right. Franco Armani, Argentina. Kyogo Furuhashi, Japan. Abdullah Abdullahla Al Amri, Saudi Arabia. Gibral Sau, Switzerland. Yasser Al Shahrani, Saudi Arabia. And Belgium. Belgium's team picture. This is great because I'm actually getting a lot of shinies that I have not gotten. Ooh, shiny. Ilke Gundogan, Germany. No, I pronounced that wrong. Harry Sutar, Australia. Idressa Guye, Senegal. Anthony, or Anthony, Brazil. Kaladu Kulebali, for Senegal. Gregorsh Krichauyak, Poland. Thibaut Courtois, Belgium. Syed Ezatolahi, Iran. Maxime Crepo, Canada. Luka Jovic, Serbia. Pedri for Spain. Hossein Kanaani for Iran. Nico Williams for Wales. Kamal Miller for Canada. Manuel Akanyi for Switzerland. Eric Gutierrez for Mexico. Qatar Musab Kedir from Qatar. Gideon Mensa, Ghana. James Lea Siliki, Cameroon. Jesus Gallardo, Mexico, coming in for the home stretch. Ecuador's Byron Castillo. Brendan Aronson from the USA. Fabian Schar from Switzerland. Ethan Ampadu, Wales. Stephen Berkui, Netherlands. Timothy Wea, USA. Jewison Bennett, Costa Rica. And uh, Costa Rica's shield. Jesus Manuel Corona, Mexico. Eric Maxime Chupo Moting, Cameroon. Lantasser Talbi, Tunisia. Anis Slimane, Tunisia. Canada's David Junior Hoylet. Hoylet. Kendall Waston, Costa Rica. Wissam Ben Yedder, France. Matthias Oliveira, Uruguay. Matthias Vecino, or now that's a guy. Matthias Vecino, Uruguay. Abdullah Al Malki, for Saudi Arabia. Joseph Bacalo, Croatia. Hatan Bahabri, Saudi Arabia. And four more chances to get that Rodrigo Sasa Lukic. Serbia, Idrisu Baba, Ghana, Tiago Silva, Brazil, Hidemasa Morita, Japan. So I did not get my chase cars. I guess Rodrigo would be the main one, but I did get a ton of really cool shinies. This really helps to make the um, extra cost, I guess, for the uh, big box of 250 stickers worth it. So. Without further delay, I'm going to stop, then include, uh, stick all those stickers in, come back and show you what it looks like and kind of discuss the, the numbers. 
did I fill up the rest of the booklet or uh, not get as many as I should. Um, I think statistically I should get about 40% of these, so maybe about 100 of the stickers going in there. So I will go up from about 300 stickers in the booklet to about 400 stickers and be four sixths or two thirds of the way through the box. And then we'll figure out what we're gonna do about filling the rest of it. Uh, of course, any kind of comments, suggestions, or ideas are appreciated. See you back on the other side. Okay, we're back. Um, I have to say to start with, this was a very impressive pack of 250 cards. I got a ton of the orange stickers, meaning about uh, 130 out of the 250, 50, give or take 50% of these stickers were ones that I hadn't already had, which was actually statistically a little bit... I think a little bit better than I would have done. I came up with some reasons why that would possibly be, and we'll talk about them in a second. So here's a pack that I didn't open. It's probably the one with Ronaldo in it. Uh, we're gonna set this off to the side. I do wanna remind, this is just amazing that I got these from the Netherlands. And let's put in these stickers that I left over uh, just to talk about uh, the experience here. So we're going to find uh, Brazil on, I should remember this, doing this so much. So page 58 of the, we'll do that mascot last. So as you can see here, I have a nice mixture of stickers here we've got the yellow bordered ones from the u.s special order edition direct from panini then from the retail vision the white bordered u.s and then of course we have this which is officially fc fwc 21 so i actually turned to the wrong page i'm actually doing the fwc winners and i'll explain why i'm confused because the amazing thing that I learned after we stick this sucker in, first we have to find where it goes. All right, finally, 21, Brazil, right here. That's not, oh, I can straighter than that. Okay, Brazil, 1958 versus Sweden. Obviously, Brazil won. Okay, and then there's the pink background sticker so what I learned was in these ind individual pages here the US version has the team sticker now I assumed and then if you look I have quite a few of these I don't have Japan's Japan won but if you look at these and I I gasped <laughs> when I first opened this I'm like uh oh check this out this is the US version. It's a special blue border one, it's supposedly rare. And this is the international version, or at least the European version, Tunisia 7. It's the exact same sticker. So the difference here between the two sets is there is no team sticker in the international book. That to me was amazing. So all these stickers the international versions were one number off. Exact same sticker, as you can tell, the contents, the, what it uh, portrays, is identical except for the backgrounds. It's just the number is different. So I went ahead and applied these. I don't have a copy of the booklet, but for some reason, either they don't have in the international versions the team stickers at all, or the team stickers aren't numbered. So let's uh, move along here. Italy 25. That's at the back. So what I was doing uh, on the previous videos was saving the team stickers to put on the on at the end 
while I was describing the my thoughts about the uh, package, the U.S. edition. And there wasn't any of that to, to add this time. So what I was... Uh, the other thing that I noticed, too, is if you're looking at the international version sticker number one is this one. Sorry. This one, which is always number two in the U.S. versions. Have that one. Have that one. Great. There's Japan. Don't have Japan one or two. So that would go, obviously this is Argentina, but that would go in the international versions right here. And that would be Japan one, two, three, four explaining why these numbers on the back were different. So we'll keep doing this, putting these in Uruguay. So it is November and pretty soon we are going to be watching the actual games. Now the other issue as we're flipping through here is check this out, Ghana for instance. I got an amazing, uh, to me it was amazing statistically, that I went from just having this, 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 and this, and this, and that, to almost about two thirds of the stickers here. Some of these, we'll, we'll take a look at these, but uh, some of these have um, almost full. So of course, as a, someone who's completing these things, I, um, you know, that's a great, it's a great prospect, you know, you get that, that adrenaline boost when you see that the pages are almost full. I will say that these shiny ones are a little bit harder to peel off. So here is FWC 19, Uruguay. Uruguay is one of the eight teams who has actually won the World Cup. Obviously, most of them have won it multiple times. Um, we're going to do that last. All right, so this is the France 27. So all told, we are going through the numbers in my head here and saying them out loud. All told in the first one, we obviously got almost 250. And then in the third one, the second full set, full box of 250, we got about half those. So we added half of those to the to the mix. And here is Al Janib Stadium. I got a whole lot of the stadiums. Again, Al Bait Stadium. I've got four copies of those. One of those are in there. And Al Altumana Stadium here. And here is this is Al Janib. The numbering is the same here. So Going back to the statistics, I now I got about uh, 230 out of the first set of 250 because um, one thing I learned is the U.S. version has the blue borders, but the blue borders have a greater chance, I learned, of actually being duplicates. So if I went through and already put in a when I was uh, doing the U.S. and I went in and put these yellow stickers and then got a, a blue sticker later on, that was a duplicate. And for the most part, most of those blue stickers, blue bordered stickers, were duplicates of what I already have. That means in the U.S. versions, I don't get everything. Uh, I get, I don't get 250 brand new stickers. I get about 230 brand new stickers and 20 duplicates because the blue versions and I guess red, I had one red version, uh, were all duplicates. So that's actually kind of a disadvantage. I kind of prefer getting more that I can stick in these packages, more that I can stick into the pages. Oops, that doesn't go there. Is FWC, wait, let's take a look. FWC5, yep, so that's the right. And we complete the mascot diptych. I try to do it as close as possible. And that is about as close as possible without wrecking it. And that looks pretty good. So that is Qatar's, 
kind of odd looking uh, mascot, but of course, you know, the Japan and, and other ones have kind of interesting mascots. Okay, so what do we have left to get? We have some FWC uh, stadiums. We have two more halves of the cup and this logo. Here is the reminder that our first matches will be on 21 November. So keep that in mind. Find a way to watch that. Qatar, great. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five out of um, 20 for each team. So five, so I only have a quarter of those. Ecuador, a few more of those, seven or so. Uh, Senegal. About the same, seven. So we're working on about a third for each page, which also indicates to me that when they packaged and sorted each of these boxes, the US version and the uh, international version, uh, they made sure to try to not duplicate and uh, so that you would get a, a full spread of team players. Uh, they were mixed. In other words, a lot of uh, card packages, uh, especially in the old days, and uh, just ran across some hockey cards <clears throat> where I bought two packs, hanger packs, and got a whole wave, a whole series of duplicate cards in one and the other. So basically, they were just throwaways. And uh, in the um, U.S. version of this, there was a little bit of that. But that said, uh, we put together a quarter of them in the first box, a quarter of them in the second box, and added some more on the uh, white bordered ones. Let's see, we don't have an example here. White bordered ones uh, from the five packs that I bought retail. Um, so that added up to, we have about two thirds of the stickers. England's a little less for some reason. The odds were not with us there. Iran, I've got about two thirds of the stickers. USA, about two thirds of the stickers. I only have one, two, three, four, five left to get of that. Wales, a um, little less than two thirds. Same for Argentina. Still, nice color mat to mix there. I love the colors of the international versions. The orange and reds, uh, I prefer those. I like blue too, but the borders around it kind of ruins the effects. That's just my personal opinion. Love to hear what anybody else thinks about these stickers and the differences of them. All right, so here's what we've got so far. Nice bunch of France, Australia, Denmark. I don't have many of, so that's kind of interesting. So it looks like they're not regionally keeping preferences. It's, oh, we're, we're Netherlands, so we're going to throw uh, some of the... Um, northern countries a little bit more of those just to make the fans happy now it's it's just basically a straight across mixture and i don't think they're aiming to do anything here costa rica i have quite a few of these beautiful shinies germany japan this page is almost full this page is almost empty so i guess the question is what are we going to do now? Last time I was wondering whether I should just go buy more retail packets and then I found this box on eBay. So I'm going to go look. One thing I have not been able to find information, and if anybody knows any different, especially if you're an international watcher, give me uh, uh, some information in the comments, if you would, about are the boxes from other countries... Uh, they're made in Panini, Italy, but I'm sure shipped to Brazil. Is a Brazil package different? Will I get different things? Is it different colored? I'm going to look for that and find out. We need one more World Cup, two more on this page, three more. Sorry, it's looking like they're already filled in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't have many of these at all, do I? All right, and then here is the FIFA matches that led up to the World Cup, and here we go with an ad that is clearly U.S. version. That makes sense, because this is uh, a U.S. booklet. With the silver packs, 
rather than the gold packs in the international versions. Okay, so I'm going to, my next step is, because I was so pleased with what uh, I found with the international version, I am going to go get, find another box of these. Hopefully I can get them at the reasonable price of about 50 US dollars, like I did for this box, uh, because even on Target's website, now they just put up yesterday that they're selling these on the Target website, uh, so they'll ship them to you. If you have the special red card, which I do, I got that, so I get 5% off. But that's U.S. It's not the special order version from Panini. It's the white-bordered U.S. version. Let's see if I can find someone who will ship me something from, say, Brazil, or at least a package that uh, is intended from Brazil, and maybe they're in the U.S. and have it. Okay, so what do you think? I thought this was a pretty amazing addition the 130 so or so stickers that i got from this international version and um, i'd like to uh, explore it some more you think it's worth it i've heard and watched some videos where uh, people are estimating what it would cost to fill the entire thing um, at uh, just keep buying packages until you finally get that last one it would be about 800 uh, to 1200 us dollars I don't think I have to do it that way because even if I buy this, get about 70 more, fill up another fifth of or sixth of the 15% or 20% of the booklet and get it close to about 30, I can order the rest from Panini. Um, hopefully, I'm not going to run out of time to special order those. So, I just need to get that next... 150 60 uh, missing stickers then i can order the stubborn ones uh, from panini okay so that's it for today i'll check back in when i get another box or and find out uh, whether i can get closer to filling this thing hopefully before the world cup starts probably not but uh, certainly while the matches are going on in november and december Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe so you can see more awesome content like this, or if you like baseball cards, or the differences between the U.S. and the international versions of sticker and card collecting.